all right so it's wednesday afternoon um i am out on the porch and i wanted to share with you guys what i have been working on um i'm gonna take y'all outside and then we're gonna go in this is gonna be a really really quick video today no editing just gonna be plain raw footage um let me put my my little yard boots on let me just show you what's going on right now while i go get my boots so hidden behind the chair is all of my gardening stuff <laughs> my heat mat is out here now the towels i have boxes because i'm planting in boxes i got some fertilizer plenty of soil for my potting um there's more stuff there that actually that laundry basket and the cups that are in it the cups are going to be used for planting um seeds so i can grow some seedlings those are going to be for my tomatoes and the larger things like squash zucchini eggplant i'm going to get that done um probably friday i have two more grow bags right there actually it's three three grow bags back there um and again that box is going to be used to plant in and then down here these are root uh i bought these from the grocery store a while ago and i have them planted so that they can actually start rooting because i you know it takes forever to plant for seed seed um uh, for herbs and you can see it's starting to grow roots on the rosemary look at that um we have thai basil here i think some of the thai basil has roots on it as well y'all don't pay that little burn on my arm no man um this one does not but i know i had some down here that had roots on it because i was like oh, okay the thai basil is growing roots but well, this one has roots on it so i'm just leaving it sitting in water and i have some sage this one i just put out here so it doesn't have roots and this basil is being really stick st um st what's the word um petulant <laughs> it's being stubborn it's not growing roots on it so i have to figure that out but anyway i did some transplanting all of this stuff was inside um in the little cell trays like this so we have borage it got a little shocked because i um transplanted it but this is one of the seeds from off of the bush bean but the bush beans um and I wish I would have planted them in cups before because I don't really like having to transplant stuff. But as you can see down here, we have some zinnia, some cosmos right here. And look, these poor little babies. That's some cosmos in there as well. This one, I must have dropped a nasturtium seed in there by accident. This is bush beans. I'll use my things. I double label them so I can reuse them, child. All right, so then over here... We have, what's this? Sugar baby watermelon. Um, some chives right here. And this is marigolds. And here we have some chamomile growing. This is echinacea, but you can really can't really can't see it yet. And one of these is cosmos again, and one of these is sunflowers, but it's kind of new i just they're little pots you get from dollar tree they come with it's like that little kit it comes with the seeds the soil the pot so i'm trying that out um anything else over here nope i think that's it let's go outside before we go outside this is more seed all of my seeds right here that's my seed book seeds there and that little this laundry basket that is going to go inside the hamper i mean the yeah the clothes hamper for planting i'll show you that because i have some stuff outside um, plant some potatoes actually planted with the mesh clothes basket and a laundry bag. I came out here earlier today and I cleaned up my lemon balm. I cut all of the dead pieces away. Like you can see where some of the pieces were. Like I just been breaking off long pieces like that. Um, it smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it. It is amazing. Um, there's one. I cleaned this one out. Tried to get a lot of the leaves out. And if you see like little this is wildflowers that I sprinkled. I didn't even think that they were going to germinate this fast, but they are. They're germinating. I just cleaned a lot of this out. The sage is growing back, back there. That's coming back in. And right there, what did I just plant? Oh, I planted some thyme in that, that little dugout right there. I need to clean out the oregano. We have a tulip that has come back up. Um, we have another one trying to come in. I don't know if this one is gonna do anything but 
we have another tulip right here. She looking kind of sad. Is this a piece of rosemary way over here? I mean, oregano? Yep. The oregano spreads, by the way. I did not realize it was going to spread this far. Because how about I didn't even realize oregano is in the mint family. This is dill. It's probably going to die. I don't know. That right there is some wildflowers. Now, listen. Okay, this is um, garlic and onions. Right here. We, Girl. All right, so here we have some um, potatoes in here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can, there's one, a couple of the eyes, but these potatoes are in this box. This is citronella and it comes back. You can see it's gonna, it's gonna come back. It comes back every year, but this is just a citronella plant and I have it sitting on top of my carrots. One of my um, soil sisters on TikTok told me that I can go ahead and direct sow my seeds. So you cover them up. This here is just wildflowers in that box. This is potatoes. I saw this on YouTube. You take a clothes hamper or clothes basket, you put a mesh laundry bag in it, and you put potatoes in there. You can put other stuff in there too, but I'm doing potatoes. Of course, over here we had stuff that I started. This is just like my first time planting in bottles like this just to see, but I do have some germination going on. We have um, collards in one. Of course, you know, I have to take the stuff out, but this is daisies. Um, what is this? Broccoli, broccoli rob and spinach is in here. Um, that stuff isn't doing well. The peas aren't doing well at all. But look, the leeks and the bok choy in here. And down in here we have cabbage and what else? Kale. And then we have one little nasturtium that I hope survives. This is that terrible, um, soil mixture that I got from that store um what is that store called it really don't matter but it is it did no good and i wasted seeds but it was a good experiment nothing has been done with anything else um that bag all the way back there is the start of my compost so i'm getting it together i'll get out here um in probably two weeks and really get going and i need to paint those i need to reinforce them and get all that stuff together but yep i thought i had another yeah i do have another tulip over here i have a tulip come in there that cabbage i don't think that's gonna really do any do too much but there's a cabbage there um some bok choy now i'm praying that this does not go bad because planting shard next to spinach can be a problem sometimes but if you look i do have shard and spinach <laughs> starting to come up so y'all keep your fingers crossed that my spinach survives and that the shard survives and there's more back there and then this is going to be all mint and i know that it spreads and i actually want this whole area filled with mint and then we're going to do um eventually there's going to be a cement border around here so it won't spread but so far but yeah that's what's going on now let's go inside and get us a glass of wine all right, yesterday I tried this Lost Poet wine. Y'all excuse me, I am so hungry because I have not really eaten today. I had that smoothie and I knew it was gonna fill me up. And then I did have some popcorn after that, but nothing substantial. And now I'm hungry, like hungry. So I'm probably gonna fix some, um, a, be a black bean burger and some fries. That's exactly what I'm gonna fix. But I had this Lost Poet wine yesterday. So good. Um, so one of my good girls asked me about this device. This is an aerator. And <clears throat> I use it for a lot of my red wines because it helps to, it puts oxygen in it and it wakes up the aromas, wakes up the flavors. And it just gives you a, a better drinking experience. Y'all excuse the way I look today, but I worked. Then I went outside and I work in the backyard. I transplanted that stuff. And then now my allergies, I need to take something before I go to bed. And I also planted um, three hyacinths in the front yard. So 
I've been busy. But this wine, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, if you like a medium body wine that has a nice kick to it, meaning 14.5% alcohol by volume, just the one for you. So when I had it, I was like, man, this wine, it smells good. It smells very jammy, meaning it's like it had this ooey gooey good good aroma to it. It's like um, currants and dark chocolate and blackberries, like with cloves. And if you just take all that together and put it in a pan in the oven and let it bake until all the sugars start to break down and you get that gooeyness. This is what it reminds me of. When I first smelled it, I was like, it's like a molasses almost. But then the more I smelled it and the, like when I tasted it, I was like, no, this is like dark chocolate, blue, um, sour blueberries, blackberries, currants, that dark chocolate. And then on the finish, you get a nice smooth, like almost smoked peppers. This wine is so good. Oh, oh, this wine is so good. Um, it is, it's a medium body. It's a red, of course, Lost Poet. Um, they don't have any tasting notes, nose, um, nose notes on it. Only thing it has is part of a poem from Atticus. And it says, don't be scared to change the prince's name in your story. And to yesterday, that was kind of like a little meaning to me. I was like, huh. So this says, don't be scared to change the prince's name in your story. Now, I'm, I don't want to change my prince's name. But to me, it meant if things are not working the way that they should in anything in life, you have it within you to move on and try something new, whether it be a job, whether it be a, a, a hobby that you thought you would like and you didn't like a person, <laughs> whatever it is that you're in, you don't have to stay in it. So you can change your own story. That's what I took that to mean. So why would a purpose? Why would a meaning? Um, then I was like, what would pair well with this wine? So, oh, this apple is so good with it. Apple pie will be perfect with it. Definitely some dark chocolate. Um, also like goat cheese and crackers with some super sweet strawberries. Um, I'd even eat it with like some like regular old plain chips. That would be good with it. Like your, you know, I don't. You don't have, it doesn't have to be Lay's or Ruffles, but just a plain chip, salted chip. Uh, food wise, I would say a nice cut of beef. Um, I was looking at those, those are like flank steak, more like a, a nice cut of ribeye would go good with it. Cooked medium, not cooked all the way done. Medium will go perfectly with this, even lamb chops. But with, if you did lamb chops with it, I would suggest also pairing it with mint jelly. Uh, and then for those of like me who are not meat eaters, I would go with a nice thick, like I had those king oyster mushrooms, something like that would be go, would, would be go what? Would go well with it. Also, you would look for like maybe um, some teriyaki tofu, like with the mixed vegetables. I think that will pair extremely well with it. So those are some good things. And then if you want to, to go even further and pair your wine with music, I was thinking about Killer Mike's new album and Killer Mike's new album would go well with this. If you wanted something a little more, you know, just instrumental type, like some Dizzy Gillespie, old school, you could go with some Etta James. Um... If you want that neo soul feel, I would definitely say some Lauren Hill, The Roots, Jill Scott. Yeah. And even, 
Mm. I was going to say Kim, but no. You would need something a little smoother because like he does, he does a lot in his music to me. Um, so, hmm, who's a good male singer that I would say? I don't know. That one's a tough one. Oh, you could go with some nice bony James, some jazz like that. Oh. So many pairings will go well with this wine. Out of five glasses, I'm giving it four. Um, I have rambled enough. This video has gone on longer than I expected it to. But I'm telling you, this one is a good one. So drop down in the comments and let me know if you are interested in hearing about wine culture, wine facts, cocktails, some, you know, where some spirits come from, such as, you know, your tequilas, your rums. Uh, your scotch, your brandy. If you want to hear any type of those type of fact, any type of the, what? Ah! If you want to hear any facts like that or do cocktail making, um, I'm not a bartender by license, but I do know how to make a good drink. So if you're interested in that and you think that that should be something I would that I bring back on Wednesday, let me know. Um, stuff. I just want to bring nothing but love, lights, and blessings to you guys. Bring smiles to your faces. Love the communication that we have. So just drop down in the comments or whatever and just tell me about the what y'all think about me bringing the wines back. And for those who like cigars, let me know what you think about that. Anyway, I have talked on long enough. I have rambled. I have rolled. I have done it all. I wish you guys nothing but love, peace, and blessings. And I will talk to you on the next go-round.